Good afternoon, good evening. My name is Robert Newman. I am a real estate online marketing expert and I'm the founder of Inbound Real Estate Marketing, um, also known as Inbound REM. Uh, you've probably seen my website, you're probably on my website right now. So, uh, what are we talking about right now? We're talking about Boomtown. So, Boomtown is a real estate, what I would refer to as a real estate lead generation website provider. So, they make websites and through those websites, they generate leads. Um, there is nothing, Boomtown is best in class. Let me just start off, open up there. If you want to generate leads and you have the budget, uh, Boomtown is definitely one of the ways that you should be looking at doing that. All right. So Boomtown is mostly designed for real estate teams, small independently owned real estate brokers. And, um, here's how that works. All right. So right now we're looking at one of their larger, uh, customers. All right. What I mean by that is they have uh, 44 locations located all over the United States. All right. So these are all the locations. The name of the brokerage is Carrington. So how does that work owning a Boomtown real estate? So please look up here. You can see up here that it says Car Carolina state office locations. And let's just say that we click on Texas, El Paso. We would then click on that and notice how the URL changes. So this is now the landing page for the Texas Carrington uh, office. And what the, this office would do is it would drive traffic. So the way that Boomtown drives traffic is let's just say uh, this office is in Fort Worth, okay? So we, uh, when people do a search like Fort Worth homes for sale, you get stuff up here, okay? You get uh, uh, the anything that says an ad is what's called paid advertising. Okay, Boomtown has uh, a, a multi-tiered fee structure. So Boomtown charges uh, $1,500. Uh, let's see here, I listed it out and I'm just gonna cover it for you. So it's a $1,500 setup. They call that a licensing fee that's just to access the platform that doesn't cover anything else. Uh, they will tell, they, they do have a lot, actually I shouldn't say that. They have a lot that they cover. They provide excellent support. You get a marketing, um, uh, assistant that will teach you and your agents how to use the platform so that could include like online tutorials or multi multi agent uh, classes and what they're going to do is they're going to show you the back end the back end contains a, uh, a lead management system and it's got two separate sides to it it's got the agent side that shows that an agent can log into this platform and then they can kind of see so a lead gets assigned to them and they can see what that lead has been doing and they can email out and, and kind of touch that lead multiple times through the platform. The second tier of this is that somebody can log into a company dashboard and then see how actively agents have been working those leads. So it covers two separate sides of productivity. And of course, you need to be trained on how to use that effectively and that's what Boomtown will do. They'll assign uh, a team to you and that team will then train you. And all of that's part of that $1,500 per month um, and it covers one to 25 users and it's $35 for every additional user. Now a user is defined by somebody who gets a login to the Boomtown platform. So if you have an off agent, uh, hundred agents, but you don't want, you don't think that all of them necessarily need to use the platform, that's fine. But only the agents that are getting licensed and logging on would be trained on how to use it. Um, online advertising, which is a must. Um, and, and quite literally Boomtown will tell you and insist on essentially that if you want leads coming into your website from your website, what you need to do is you then need to uh, pay them additional monies um, to manage an advertising campaign that will drive traffic into your platform. A second option is if you already have marketing in place, you can drive traffic into the platform and the way that that traffic is then turning like how would you generate leads once that traffic is there so i showed you somebody clicks on an ad it goes let's just say that it hit the home page so now that person is starting to search properties so we go in here and we look at this property and we're like "Ooh, cool so many neat things so many neat things we click around we look down okay we decide we want to go into another property and bang okay so essentially you get to look at one property inter uninterrupted and then from that point forward you get you get required to register with the website and it's a little bit hard to get out of it and get back to these properties but you can you can just keep backing out but then you keep getting this pop-up 
And so then you can continue with Facebook, you continue with email. And once you log in, that person is becoming a lead that is nurtured by the system, by the Boomtown system. And this is the stuff like that your agents can see. So then you assign that contact to an agent, that, that person who, who has an email address. And they now get to see how many searches that person is doing. And there's, uh, there is a system that will kind of say, hey, this person's done 20, 20 searches. They're probably a high value lead. So there is a like a lead prioritization mechanism with Boomtown. So there's lots of cool stuff. And Boomtown uh, is definitely focused on larger real estate teams. So in other words, if you are a small broker somewhere and you have 10 or 15 agents that all need to be fed leads, then Boomtown is probably, like in terms of everything that they provide in a one, like one solution, it is very good. It's the best actually, not very good, it's the best. In addition to everything else, for that $1,500, Boomtown does provide a very minimal amount of SEO. Okay, what do I mean by SEO? So let's take a look at that. Um, SEO, search engine optimization, is the um, is the ability to get on the left hand side of the screen. So uh, let's just take this. So this is Boomtown itself, and part of my reviews is I always take a look at how proficient do I feel like a real estate marketing company is in terms of SEO. And Boomtown is better than most. It's still not great. Um, they, but they are definitely using SEO. So this real estate team names is definitely a term that they've targeted. Um, they're number one for the term. So let's just Google that. Oops. So we do the search and there we go. Eight formulas for picking a real estate team name. So obviously since Boomtown is being designed for teams, this for them is going to be a high value uh, search term. So we go into the website and then we get a fairly clean content page, uh, page that talks about nouns, putting two names together, gives you a little video, points to remember, and click here. Okay, so this is definitely a lead generation mechanism for Boomtown who is definitely focused on real estate teams. It, the article was published in October of 2016 and it's first on the page. So this is a very good example of fairly solid SEO work. Um, the only reason I say fairly solid is that I, I've dug, dug through a lot of content that Boomtown has produced and it's pretty generic, but they're not, they're not going for very competitive terms. So most of this stuff like real estate team names and real estate email templates, um, when you're looking at uh, something like uh, let's just go, do you see what this says? Real estate team names. So this keyword difficulty is on a scale of zero to a hundred. Um, so four is about average in the real estate business. Not very much is competitive in the real estate business, but just, just to give you an understanding of what is competitive so that you can see what is different in this industry. If we do real estate websites, which would be a term that Boomtown could theoretically target, but they may not want to because they might not want to want to target unqualified visitors. So they very well may not think that this is a great keyword for their business, but difficult keywords do exist in real estate, which is why I'm saying, hey, that keyword, those keywords aren't all that competitive. So zero to a hundred, and this is a 95. So, um, and what this means is that you're going to need a whole bunch of reference, uh, a whole bunch of people referencing your article in order for your page to make it to the first page of the term real estate websites. So um, there you go. Anyway, so you can look down here and most of these keywords, you just at this point, I'm not going to give you any more examples. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Most of these keywords are just about as competitive and I'm not sure like real estate email templates. Okay. I can kind of see like how that might be relevant. My only question is if they have chops and I always ask this question, every single review, every single company, Boomtown just got a $20 million round of financing. If you have that much 
resources, why aren't you going for like real estate lead generation website? Because that's exactly what they are. That is 100% descriptive of their business. It just happens to be a much more competitive keyword and yet they're not pursuing it. So, um, and, and you go down here and you'll see like real estate team agreement, like let's just look at one more. So we do real estate team agreement and they're somewhere deep on the first page. Actually, they're not on the first page at all. I don't know why, but all right. Um, and then, so, for those of you who've been following me for a long time, um, I do try to be meticulously, I, like I, I'm a data analyst. I look at the data. And the data suggests that these guys, despite talking about SEO in many different places on their website, they just don't pursue it that much, which is not surprising because their primary method of generating business for their clients is paid advertising. And why am I spending so much on these topics? Because once you start spending this money, you're going to be locked into Boomtown for a long time. This is a $3,500 to $5,000 commitment at a minimum. Like just to get in and do a minimal amount of marketing, it's fifteen hundred dollars in setup, fifteen hundred dollars per month. So that's three thousand plus a thousand dollars for the advertising. So we're talking forty five hundred dollars to get started, and you're going to be spending anywhere from three to five thousand on a month to month basis. And many companies probably spend more, like ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Like some of these teams that they're doing business with, and more. That's not even that the top, I'm sure. So what does that mean? So it just means that while I'm a big proponent of uh, Boomtown, I think they're brilliant. And I'm going to talk a little bit about their leadership and some of the other things that they've got going on because they've got a lot of really impressive information surrounding it. But I do want to say this. In terms of developing a relationship with a company where you're spending this much money on a solution, on a website that you, you're never going to own, on a company that looks like they're fast-tracking to be sold at some point, um, is always risky because you are going to be spending 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 thousand dollars a year and you don't own the website. They do. Because what they're saying is we're so good and so organized at marketing, you need to spend 90 grand on our solution and we're going to continue to feed you leads. What they don't say is what happens if we go off the rails. You don't have a backup option. So when you own your own website and you're doing the marketing yourself, yes, it is a little bit more work to figure out what all the solutions are, but you always have a backup option because you own the site. So let's just say that a provider like your solution that you've been using for, let's just call it customer lead management, right? Let's say that solution doesn't work anymore or the plugin that you were using in WordPress doesn't manage your leads the way that you want them to. You have a choice of another four or five plugins, another four or five options on top of a web website that you already own. Also, if you're pursuing SEO, once you produce a content page and you get onto the first page, most of the time you stay on the first page for three to four years. So even with all the changes that Google makes, making SEO, even though these guys kind of poo-poo it and don't talk about it all that much, it's the best option. The reason that nobody likes to talk about it is it's just harder. It's a little more difficult to do. You've got to produce really good content. You've got to drive signals into that content, and it just is a more long and it's slower. So lead generation companies don't like to talk about that especially since at some point you could remove the lead generation and still be making money still provide leads for your team and they really don't like to talk about that so in terms of strategy for growth a lead gener real estate lead generation website provider has to lock you in they have to it's part of their business model and they're not doing it based solely on performance they're doing it on i own your website you've got nowhere to go buddy so i don't like those mechanics in terms of what is in the best interest of the consumer. It's not in your best interest. Now, having said all that, if you have a, a real estate team that needs to get fed leads today or tomorrow or in the next six months, not even I have a solution besides spending three or $4,000 a month on leads. So it is the best option in a very limited way. What I would always recommend is that you also spend a small like 30% of your budget on SEO, 70% of your budget on direct marketing, and you switch those numbers over time. You blend the math. You slowly increase your SEO budget and slowly decrease your, your direct advertising budget over time. 
and if somebody knows what they're doing in the SEO category, and I do believe that for the most part these guys do, I just don't think that it's in their best interest to provide these services or focus on it, so they don't. So this is, this is problematic for you. However, if you wanted to, you could do add the content pages and do a great job on SEO on this site. And the exciting thing is, is that since these guys have built your WordPress website, if you can negotiate up front that your content will be moved with if you decide never to use them again, you could actually do fairly successful SEO on a Boomtown website and still have some measure of control over your long-term marketing prospects. You could easily transfer this to another WordPress real estate website as long as they gave you the access to do that. Whether or not they would do that, I don't know. But I personally think that anybody buying this kind of solution for this kind of money, I think it's a question that you should ask. And that's why I'm raising it for you in terms of this review. I think it at least should be asked. And if every single person, whether even if you didn't have plans to do this in the future, I think that every single broker should or real estate team should negotiate the possibility because nobody has a crystal ball. You don't know where you're going to go. Boomtown, and now I'm getting in, going to get into leadership and company structure. Um, Boomtown was founded by Greer Allen in 2006. This is a photo of him when he was a young man and he was, and he was just founding Boomtown. Okay, it's located in South Carolina and it has been enjoying explosive growth. It's been on the Inc. 500 list of fastest growing companies for something like four or five years running. In 2017, that's this year, they just for the very first time ever took on a $20 million round of financing, which is what this is talking about. They've expanded their employees from 56 to 96 or 100, uh, and they did that in 2017, and they just took over a new building uh, somewhere in South Carolina where they renovated a whole warehouse. Um, uh, it, and you can, if you go ahead and read these articles, you can go ahead and see, find all of that information for yourself. I'm, I'm pulling it from so online sources that anybody can access. In addition to that, when you look at Glassdoor, which, it, which is something that I look at every single time I do a review, Boomtown is one of the most reviewed companies in terms of, uh, like people who work there talking about the actual company. Here's the thing. They absolutely positively have one of the highest ratings from employees and every single employee says the same thing. It's, it's a company that you have to come in and work hard for. It's a startup culture, but everybody's very dedicated to their job. Everybody tries to do good work and there's, there's just basically nothing. I mean, this person says not, not uh, horrible, but not what was prop, uh, uh, what was promised and they're talking about no breaks or or lunches and pretty much everybody that works at Boomtown says the same thing You have to work really long hours. So if you were looking for some type of work-life balance, this is not the company for you Now I've worked for three real estate technology st startups four if you count my own and I can tell you from personal experience, this is exactly what you want to see if you are employing a real estate technology company. So in other words, if you're using their services or you're using a real estate website that has been designed and, and is managed by somebody else, you absolutely positively want their employees there late servicing their clients because you're their client. So all of this for you as a consumer of real estate websites is great news. So I'm, I'm sorry to be be callous about it, but but the fact that people are saying that they're working longer hours and really focused on the mission is great for you. It's not necessarily great for them, but uh, it's great for you. Uh, in addition to all of that, there are famous examples like Ben Kinney who have been using their product and service and quite literally Ben Kinney attests to, I mean, he, he went from making an average uh, income to making over half a million dollars a year and he accredits much of it to to being able to use the Boomtown platform. So he feels like Boomtown has been an absolutely critical part to his success. He's continued to grow. He owns six technology companies of his own. And at this point, he's put a competing pro product into the field called Brevity, which is a Boomtown-like CRM solution. Um, and yet another example of what I was talking about in terms of people that are developing because Brevity does work with uh, WordPress. And so um, as a result, you have another competing product that can theoretically plug into 
other solutions other than Boomtown. Uh, but you will be locked into Boomtown. You won't be using two CRMs simultaneously. So Boomtown or Ben has made his own CRM and he probably feeds the leads that he gets out of Boomtown into Brevity. And I would, I would surmise that the only reason that he would do that is because there were pieces of uh, like functionality that he simply wasn't getting out of Boomtown. And unlike most people, he had the resources to design his own solution. Once that solution was designed, he turned it into a technology offering that everybody can use. So uh, I have not looked at it. I have no opinions on it. I don't know if it's good or bad or what it even does. I'm only saying that I know that it exists. So um, so every single one of these things is great news. Um, I only have one little note at the end of all of this. I've been doing this a long time. Um, I've been doing this for 10, 10 years and I have just watched consistently. There are three real estate technology companies that just absolutely dominate this interest industry. The company that owns Realtor.com, the company that owns Trulia, uh, and the third I'm forgetting right now, but these are huge conglomerates and they have the tendency to find fast moving, disrupting technologies in real estate and they buy them and they mothball them. An example would be Market Leader. Another example would be Tiger Leads. These companies, and there is no amount of money that you can name that they wouldn't throw at these particular, um, like disrupting technologies. Like I think that uh, Tiger Leads was purchased for 125 million. I don't know what the number was for Market Leader. No, I do know what the number was. Market Leader was purchased for 170 million. Neither one of these companies was worth that much money. They got bought by that much money because these larger technology interests simply didn't want to compete with them. They didn't like the way they were disrupting the industry. So they simply took the company, they didn't focus on it all that much, and then a few years later they sell it for a much less amount of money and say, oh, it didn't work out. That's not what's going on. What's going on is they they buy the company, they don't necessarily fire all the employees, but they, they take the leaders that were driving growth and innovation away from the company because they've cashed out, and they sign a non-compete, and then... Uh, those companies uh, stop performing the way that they used to perform. And that, right now, in all of real estate, Boomtown is the best prospect for a buyout. They've, uh, in 2014, they went to a corporate structure that's called an LLC. And they then, in 2017, took on their first round of financing, $20 million, which now means that Boomtown has investors. They are answerable to somebody. One of my previous favorite things about Boomtown is they had never taken on investors. So they were completely and totally unanswerable to anybody but themselves and their own mission. And now they're answerable to investors. Now every single corporate team ever in the, since the history of businesses says the same thing in terms of investors. They're silent investors. That's just simply not true. If anything has ever been proven in the world of business is that if somebody buys a large enough chunk of another company, they absolutely positively have a voice. Now, typically when people are, are just selling pieces of their comp company, especially in technology where it's rapidly growing um, businesses, no investors don't tend to have a very large voice. But as those businesses grow, the money becomes bigger and the, the people who are investors tend to be former CEOs, they're of major conglomerates, they look at these interests and when the business gets big enough, they start to have an opinion. Like, and sometimes those opinions get very loud. And one of the most popular opinions, especially for investors, is let's sell this business because we're ending the, the, the period of growth. So there's always a time in every single rapidly growing technology company, which Boomtown is at the tail end of right now, where they're growing by a hundred or a thousand percent every year. And Boomtown has been growing like at a thousand percent. It's grown from $140,000 in its first year all the way up to something like 25 or 30 million right now. That's pretty, pretty decent for 11 years. All right. However, when that growth slows, when it becomes less than 10 or 15%, because that's the math, it makes more financial sense to sell the company. It just does. And that's when the pressure starts. So, um, I don't like the fact that they took on a round of financing, even though we probably will see a lot of improvements. I think that customers of Boomtown probably have another three or four years on this platform. 
And then I would definitely, I mean, I personally, and no joke, if I own a real estate brokerage, I 100%, absolutely, positively, no question, I'm looking to create a secondary marketing method that is online so that I can back up my production with another solution, preferably one I am in control of, one that I own. The same thing, by the way, that Ben Kenny is doing. Like every sharp business person that's out there is going to have the same solution to um, to how they handle uh, getting their business because you don't ever want to rely 100% on one company, especially not a company that you not only don't own, you don't even own the, the marketing platform that you're using, so, which is pretty incredible when you think about the way that's all been designed inside of the real estate marketing industry. So anyway, I'm done. Boomtown though, I, again, I, I just want to emphasize it has amazing reviews both internally and externally. I've, I've reviewed a whole bunch of uh, videos on the way that it performs and I think it gives solid performance. They talk a lot about SEO and you can see their, their marketing manager. I've put a video of him, Rivers Pierce. Um, he seems to be passionate. He seems to know what he's doing, but they really aren't, just aren't focused on SEO all that much. They do a little bit for their customers. I think as part of their monthly licensing feed, it's like, it's like a value add and that's pretty cool but they are increasing the value of a website that you personally don't even own. You own your domain name, but you don't own the website. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Robert Newman. Have a great day.